A very good morning to all of you on behalf of the U.S. Embassy and the U.S. government. I want to thank you everyone for the kind invitation to join this wonderful event. I know it's no easy task organizing a conference like this, of this size, so let's give a big round of applause to Abigail Wong. Now, I must say I'm not often in the presence of someone who has received a shout out, shout out from a President of the United States, but today I am proud to echo former President Obama in thanking Abigail Wong for what she has and continues to do. As many as you know, Abigail struggled to find health care for her grandfather, and she realized that she was not alone in trying to care for her parents and grandparents who could no longer take complete care of themselves. Instead of becoming negative and complaining, she stayed positive became proactive and saw an opportunity. Abigail started a business of providing health care for the elderly and today also provides training and job opportunities for young women in the health care industry. I would also like to thank Jacqueline Shipp, who's here somewhere, right. All right at the end there, yeah. who in addition to helping out with this conference was one of Abigail's mentors through the Young Leaders of the Americas Initiative, or commonly known as YLI. I know the two of you spent time in Alabama and discussing the way forward, and as Ms. Ship is a former ethics officer of the World Bank, how practicing good ethics is good business. Thank you, Jacqueline. YLI is a part of the United States commitment to empowering young people around the world, both men and women, and to ensuring that they have the tools, skills, and networks to tackle our shared global challenges. The program has been extended and applications are currently being accepted for 2017 through the end of this week. So if any of you are interested, or if you know someone who you think would be a good candidate, talk to Amanda and Aretha over there. Okay? Um, you can also go to our Facebook page at US Embassy uh, Georgetown Guyana. As this is a conference about empowered leadership and unleashing promise and potential, particularly among women, I am reminded of a quote from one of America's great female authors, Anne Rand, who wrote an Atlas Shrug. The question is not who, it, it, who is going to let me, it is who is going to stop me. So I let you think about that as you listen to the other experts and speakers through this week. This is a perfect segue to recognize and thank Her Excellency, First Lady Sandra Granger, for her extraordinary work on behalf of women and children throughout this beautiful country. You have given a strong voice to those who are often unheard and are a true champion for women's rights and equal opportunities for all the people of Guyana. Guyana is at the crossroads of tra transforming from being one of the poorest nations in the Western Hemisphere to one of the wealthiest. It will take great leaders, men and women, to help Guyana navigate through and address the challenges of the future. Women are a vibrant force in business, civil society, government, and every place else as you work to advance social and economic causes and safeguard human rights. Women's participation and investing in young people are key areas that are essential to building stronger, more prosperous, and a more inclusive country. It is a simple fact that no country can fully develop if half of its citizens are left behind. Progress for women and progress for the country go hand in hand. At the U.S. Embassy, we will continue to support entrepreneurship by women and men. We will continue supporting wildlife applications and work with young people through USAID's new Youth Empowerment Services program, also called YES. And our Youth Ambassadors Program is looking forward to sending another group to the United States this summer. We are pleased to have great participation by women in all our prestigious International Visitor Leadership Program, the IBLP. In particular, a journalist who recently returned from the United States after visiting several media houses. And Sharon Alexander, who is one of your speakers in today's program, is currently Director of Industrial Development at the Ministry of Business. And I would be remiss if I did not give special note to Her Excellency Sandra Granger for participating in our Fulbright program several years ago. I didn't know that today, so, so it's good to know. I, I, I'm not sure about that now. We are so proud to work with her, Sharon, Abigail, and all the incredible and impressive women leaders here in Guyana. We are a partner with them in helping in any way we can to advance the cause of women's rights and to promote active participation by the young people of Guyana in all aspects of society. So I close by encouraging you all to not only participate today, but participate in Guyana, become empowered, and be the great women that I know you can be. Thank you very much.